This isn't just fun. It's contractually mandated. Fun, fun, fun. Oh my god! Hey, greasy gamers, it's finally here. So welcome to church. Are you ready for the gospel? New save file, new beginnings. Experiencing this final 1.0 release as God intended. This time we're no longer just a construction site. We're a downright empire. No, I'm not going to skip the intro. Also, I've never done the Northern Forest before, so that's why I'm choosing Northern Forest. Let's go. Okay, so they've made some changes to this intro. Oh, that's different. Okay, I'm glad I watched that. So, that looked like a summer sloop, so perhaps... Uh, I think I already knew this from the 1.0 trailer, but basically summer sloops are related to alien technology, which is a new thing in 1.0. Oh, backup parachute? Skipping parachute! What do you mean? I see how it is. A whole new world full of capitalism and money. Well, here we are gamers. Welcome to 1.0. Actually, I'm reaching a thousand hours in this game right now, which is scary to think about. But yeah, I've been getting turbo greasy with this game for a while now. But 1.0 looks absolutely on another level. These these like late game production lines. Oh man, I'm going to really bust my nuts. I can feel it. Not in a good way. So yeah, we're probably not going to see too much of the new content to start with. I think a lot of that is late game. Let's just see how well I can speed run these early stages of the game. Uh, try to do it optimized since I'm, you know, pro alien capitalist by now. Well, I found copper and mean people. Hello. So yeah, I suspect that this video may come out a couple days after 1.0 at the least, but you know, I'm only one smooth brain and I work full time. Hey, maybe I'll stay up. Let's see how far I can actually get in just this first little teaser, huh? All right, well, I found my iron, so it looks like this will be the spot for my new hub. I feel like the hub used to have more to it when you, even when you just first built it. If you've never played Satisfactory, there's never a better time than right now. This game is fantastic and I can attest to that because even in early access I played a thousand hours of this game. So in the beginning you're doing manual crafting, I just made these little iron rods in the bench here. I love that actually, it feels a little more incremental. Okay, hub upgrade 2. I could be tripping but I think the music sounds better too. Alright, got my first portable miner here, slap that buddy down, oh, and I got achievements. So I see they've added achievements now, that's fun. But hey, we finally got Satisfactory 1.0 before they announced any more info about Hollow Knight Silk Song, so that's pretty dope. You know, babies born when they announced Hollow Knight Silk Song would now be going to like first grade. Just think about that for a second. All right, hub upgrade two. Let's go. Skibdy bop. Oh, hello. Of your yearly bonus. Oh, you're, you're telling me we get a yearly bonus? That's better than my current job. All right, what's different now for hub upgrade three? We have copper involved. That's fun. Oh, looks like they're pretty generous with where they put the copper, right? Right here next to the iron, actually. So now I can make a smelter and use this biomass burner back here. Chuck some of these leaves I acquired, just like that. So step one in the automation journey would be the portable miner. Step two, the smelter and the biomass burner. So now I can just throw in my iron ore and gets to going. Oh wow. Okay, so they added some animation to this thing. That looks nice. And with the smeltery's help, hub upgrade 3 is done and complete pretty quickly. When you make the inevitable mistake, hey, believe in me a little bit. Oh my god, they're so generous. There's limestone right here. Is this the best starting place, guys? The northern forest? Let me know what you think. I always prefer to start in the desert, but this seems pretty awesome, not gonna lie. Sir? Did they do anything with the bouncy backs? Oh. They've learned the ability to swim on just the tips of their toes. A wild bouncy back floats on just the tips of its little barnacle covered feet. I'm getting distracted already. So now I can make two smelters. Do to do, and hook them up to a power pole like so. Brilliant. 
Wow, that autosave happened so fast. I'm not used to that. On my previous world, it takes about fucking 20 metric years. All right, but we got hub upgrade four. That's what's important. Wasn't too bad. Double miners, obviously, do not have a connection for conveyor belts. There is nothing to suggest, visually or functionally, that they can be connected to Oh my to god. <laughs> they got real upset with people trying to connect conveyor belts to portable miners. Ah, perfect. This does suit me. Alright, I'm ready to commit silliness with this fit. Wait, hang on guys. The most important feature in 1.0? Do not flush. Oh, do not flush those items. Oh, <laughs> no fucking way, dude. These developers, you gotta be shitting me. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Excuse me? There's no reason for all that. Ah, fluid dynamics for pioneers. We'll need that when we get pipes later. This smells like my earth. Now I can make constructors. That's nice. And conveyor belts. Hook up one of them smelters to that constructor in Wabamo. We got our first production line, ladies and gents. And that's hub upgrade 5. That's not too bad. If you are experiencing nosebleeds, nausea, existentialism, or an itchy scalp, there is no need for concern. This should pass within 5 to 7 Oh, thank days. god. Next yeah, I was getting a little existential. Upgrade six. It's nice just to feel like you're getting progress very fast, I guess. Later on it slows down significantly. Projects start taking a very long time. Hub upgrade six, gamers, let's go! And achieve the absolute minimum skill level. Yay! We have the absolute minimum skill level. Biomass burn. Wait. Wait. No freaking way, dude. They did it! They made it so you can. Put stuff in them, biomass burner. Automatically! Bro, that's so hype. They made it so that you can use conveyor belts for the biomass burner, finally. Once you have the option to switch over to biomass, do so immediately. I'm pretty sure it's way more efficient. What's that noise? Oh, is it the giant mantas? First thing I'm gonna unlock is base building, of course. This does require a chunk of materials, so you can see I got some basic production lines going. Hey, we did it. Base building! This is key. Absolutely important. Word ...that memories of beloved humans and or animals would have only been distractions from your important mission. Yeah, true. Don't want to be thinking about my cats while I'm at work. That's just going to take away from my productivity, am I right? There's a doggo! Hello. Oh no. A bad doggo! Hi doggo. Pat pat. Oh. That was good enough to tame you, huh? You're my little achievement. Well, I got a little buddy now. That's nice. Okay, time to unlock some logistics. Heck yeah. Imagine yourself on the shore of a vast and calm ocean. Breathe in. Visualize all the people relying on you. The sea is made of billions of faces. Each no! At you with hope and tears You're not helping. Eyes. It's called Freighter. Just in time. To get field research. That completes tier 1, gamers. Let's go. Okay, first thing I'm going to get in tier 2 is definitely obstacle clearing. Alright, let's go ahead and grab that, shall we? I like all these little graphics they have here too now. This isn't just fun, it's contractually mandated, fun, fun, fun. Fun, fun, fun. That's how you know it's fun. Uh, they really upped the fix-it humor going on in the 1.0 release. At last, I can get the ma'am. The fluffy-tailed hog. Fluffy-tailed. Yes, time for the chainsaw. I think I can also make an object scanner. No, I need more. Yeah, buddy. Oh, it's even my color. How lovely is that? Now I can accelerate my production of the next best fuel that I've unlocked, which is solid biofuel. Also needed for the chainsaw. So I just have my biomass going in. And here's my fuel coming out. 
All right, well, I got my uh, constructors. Got my lizard doggo. Oh, wait, what? I got explosives and I got my lookout tower now, so, you know, it doesn't look like much from this angle. I'm gonna take a real short break and be right back. <sighs> if I don't get some water soon, I'm gonna shit myself, I'm afraid. Uh, finally, the beauty of foundations. They seem to have changed how snapping, to both to the world grid and to other machines, seems to have changed, and I appreciate that. It looks quite a bit better. Oh, we're popping off now, making solid biofuel like crazy to just feed these biomass burners which will in due turn power more machines for more production. Ma ma ma. Achievement is pleased. So at this stage in the game I would recommend just get some basic production lines. I'm using a splitter now to make iron plates and iron rods out of one iron node. Meanwhile I'm also making concrete over there and copper wire of course. And uh, right now it is currently 1 a.m. for me, but that won't stop the factory from growing. Gosh darn it. Fix it, it's got me working some crazy hours. Alright little lizard doggo, you're kind of getting in the freaking way of me building. Uh, but you are cute. Just one thing we gotta double check real quick. Climbing on top of this bad boy and just whoop. Oh yes. And it's an achievement. Space Giraffe Tick Penguin Thang. That is a great official name. No, oh, my god. Wait, were Lizard Doggos always this good? He's just giving me free shit. Especially early game. C excuse me, sir. Do you mind? How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Yes, the production lines have been very fruitful, so now I have part assembly complete. Go ahead and shove all these things in there. Oh, that is a lot of resources. Do not worry about your inadequate crafting skill when compared to an assembler. Fix it cherishes your innate human abilities, such as walking, striking objects, and commodifying natural resources. Yeah, that's true. I'm pretty good at walking and striking. Heal this, nature. It's funny, I just freaking watched Princess Mononoke last night, which, if you haven't seen it, you should go watch. It's a fantastic movie, it's a masterpiece, and it's about restoring nature and shiz. Yeah, they do have a fluffy tail. Oh, how cute is that? Looks like they changed the look of the oars slightly. That looks nice. Oh my god, yes, the biggest difference in 1.0 is the ability to just do this shit now. Thank you! Excuse me, can you get out of the freaking way, buddy? Okay, we're almost there to Logistics Mark II, and that's gonna be a big step forward. Right now, I just revamped some of my iron production, and I got a sushi belt going on here. It's kind of fun to look at. Yes, at last. Finally, I can upgrade these belts to make my biomass production increase. This one takes 120 per minute, which is perfect for the new belt. I'm sure all you guys have seen the trailer and the release notes and everything, but everything from 1.0 looks absolutely incredible, so I'm super hyped to get into it. I'll be able to build the space elevator in a minute. So let me know in the comments if you'd prefer just more frequent uploads versus more edited long videos. I think people probably would prefer shorter, more frequent videos, so I might head towards that direction. Yeah, we're making them iron rods. Gonna suck them, gonna stick them in the bods. At last, at last, here we go. Ah, uh, yes, good achievement. No, still one of the coolest animations. Oh, maybe I shouldn't put it right there where it's kind of in the way of this thingy. I didn't see that. Oh God, fix it, don't fire me. Fix it has 40 hypermatter space elevators that can permeate through normal matter, so that's fine. Yeah, see? It's fine. Ah, the save the day program, that's new. Uh huh. Okay, and how does making the smart plating save humanity again? No, no, I buy it. 100%. I'm saving humanity, guys. We didn't even know we were being heroes this whole time. 
I never did YouTube videos on an actual mic before, so I'm like the chocolate rain guy. I have to move my head away to breathe in so it doesn't pick up. Chocolate pain. So how do I approach phase one? Well, I just decided to make two little assemblers here and manually fill them up for rotors and reinforce plates. Once I get enough of those, I can just take these down and, well, maybe I could start doing it now. Yeah, just when I have them, I can combine them and go ahead and start doing that now because it's going to take a, it's going to take at least 25 minutes, it seems. If I only use one assembler, which I'm gonna have to because I don't I don't have enough iron production anyway, I'm sure. I think I lost my lizard doggo now in all this industrial mess. Where are you, buddy? You couldn't get out of my face earlier, now you decided to just up and vanish like freaking DB Cooper. Well, I'm at the screws are annoying part of the game. Never enough screws. That's my life motto. Oh no, there the power grid goes. Okay. That makes sense. One more burner, please. Got absolutely plenty of fuel. I say that, but now at this point, it is burning through some of this fuel quite fast. So yeah, this is a new thing you can do in 1.0. Hook up your solid biofuel like so to all these burners using splitters. Just like that, you're automatically feeding them. Oh, This is cool, now you can physically see the rate at which I'm burning this fuel. It's like, oh, there goes another one. Oh, here he is. Hello, little boy. We gotta make a little cage for you or something. No, oh, I just hooked up the new power things, though. Oh, thank you for the iron rods achievement. Alright, you go in the cage for now, sorry. You'll be safe in there. Just don't move, okay? So, look what we got going on here. I especially really love that now we can basically just make an energy production line early game. So I got... So that essentially if you just throw some leaves and wood in some chests, you can get power. Uh, which is really different, because I haven't experienced that yet. In early access. Oh god, I keep repeating myself because I'm like half asleep now and it's almost 3am. Maybe I should call it a night. Yeah, I think we can get completing phase one before I pass out. We're basically there. We got 39 out of 50. I would just love to disassemble all of this and make it look way nicer. It's bugging the crap out of me, but I'm so close to phase one. Let's just finish this and then, then we can do that. Really ramped up the iron production now. And I don't normally do sushi belts, but kind of like the way it looks. Maybe we can experiment with that this time around. But I think we should be just about right there now. Yep. Sure are. Okay, Mr. Space Elevator. I did it. Ooh, okay, so they got new graphics here. Yeah. Same, same phase one as before. It's not too bad. Ooh, new animation for the ceiling. Yes, very satisfying. Oh, there's a- what? Oh. Nice. Okay, cool. So they- yeah, they just really upped the, like, tutorial game. More narratives going on. Hey, mediocre pioneering. That's me, king of mediocrity. Oh my god, it's got little freaking Nintendo reminders you've been playing for two hours. Yeah, I think it's about time. To take a break. Not only is Fix It saving humanity, it is saving all of Earth, including kittens and puppies. Oh, kittens and puppies? Fuck. Damn. Maybe I shouldn't go to bed. Alright, guys. I'm not sleeping. I can't risk it. We need to save these kitties and puppies. Nah, fix it's full of shit. I know the kitties and puppies aren't dying just because I'm going to sleep. Alright, see y'all guys. <laughs>